four months after people. In the frozen wastes of Norway's most northerly islands, a doorway in the snow leads to a mysterious crypt. Known as the Doomsday Vault, it was meant to secure the world against a disaster that is now happening in a life after people. That disaster was sparked in the time of humans by the need to feed an exploding population. Agricultural companies engineered seeds to produce super crops and maximize output. Huge tracts of farmland were planted with the single best variety of seed. But this sacrificed a crop's strongest protection from pests, diversity. The diversity that allowed farmers in the 1700s and 1800s to establish agriculture in the United States is largely gone. Probably 95% of the corn varieties and wheat varieties that existed back in the 1800s, gone forever. If a single pest or disease comes along and likes the first plant, it's going to like all the rest of them. So domesticated crops just don't last for very long. In the time of humans, farmers protected their crops with pesticides. Four months after people, there's nothing to stop a single species of insect from mowing down hundreds of thousands of acres. The vault in Norway, called the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, was built for precisely this kind of doomsday plague. With a capacity to store a billion seeds and millions of different kinds, it can bring life back to Earth. If something really were to go wrong in this world, an asteroid hitting the Earth or a global nuclear war, then this seed vault does contain seeds which we would use to restore agriculture in the world. In the time of humans, an artificial cooling system chilled the vault to minus four degrees, perfect for seed storage. Since the electricity failed, the vault has been warming up. It will stabilize at 25 degrees, the temperature of the surrounding permafrost. But how long can the seeds now survive? It's 50 years after people. In the frozen land of Norway, plant life is beginning to perish in a structure that was meant to preserve it. The first seeds have begun to die in the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. The seed that's going to last the shortest amount of time is a um, seed such as sunflower or lettuce, and maybe that's 50 to 75 years under these conditions. Scientists believe that seeds have a special anti-aging protein. When that protein fails, the seeds die. A bit like corroded rebar in a concrete column, it causes a structural breakdown in the seed. In the cold, dark stillness of the vault, it may well be the collapse of these proteins that makes lettuce seeds the first casualty. Twenty thousand years after people, the last of the hundreds of millions of seeds stored in the global seed vault have died. Their potential to generate new life is gone forever. For the contents of this vault, doomsday has arrived.